The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Good evening viewers. It's my pleasure to welcome you to another edition of Tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow is the Lord's Day. And we're going to look out for you tomorrow in church. We're not to forsake the gathering together of one another like the Bible tells us. And so much the more as we see the day approaching. What if the Lord Jesus comes today? You know, we should leave ready. So let's keep uh, enjoying the fellowship of saints as we sharpen one another. Okay, join us tomorrow. Having said that, today I want to share with us a word of titled being intentional. What does it mean to be intentional? It means to be deliberate about what you want to do. It means to be purposeful about what you seek to do. It means to have uh, thought it over and you are set, you are ready for what you want to do. Now, God is not an anyhow God. Our God is an intentional God. When it was to make man, it was an intention from within him and he spoke to himself for man to be made. Genesis 1 and verse 26, he said, let us. And the Lord said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle and every creeping thing. And it was so, I mean, so, so see, see, it was intentional. It was deliberate on the part of God for man to be made. When Christ was to come to the world, his mission on earth was intentional. There were no ambiguities about it. Luke's Gospel, chapter 19 and verse 10, it says, The Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Very clear, very lucid, no ambiguities. We should be intentional people this year. In whatever it is we want to do, be intentional. Identify your mission, go for your mission, you know, and, and make sure that nothing distracts you. That's how to be intentional. Another uh, uh, instance, Hebrews chapter 10, from verse 5 to 7. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, talking about Jesus, and this was the plan of God from the foundation of the earth. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In bond offerings and sacrifices for sin, thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come, in the volume of a book it is written of me, to do thy will, O God. Lo, I come in the volume of a book, it is written of me to do thy will, O God. Do you know what was that, what that was saying? That was saying the same way the sacrifices of animals was no longer pleasing unto the Lord. He had come as a perfect replacement for those animal sacrifices, meaning he was prepared to die for the sins of humanity. No wonder he came and he was referred to as the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. The Passover Lamb of old was killed and the blood was shed so that the angel of destruction, uh, destruction will pass over the people. Now, this Passover lamb, the real Passover lamb, was Jesus. No wonder he's called the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. He was intentional. Apostle Paul was intentional. If you study Galatians chapter 2, I may not have time for us to read all that today. But you will see that Apostle Paul said something in chapter 2 of Galatians. He said, God who worked effectually in Apostle Peter for his ministry to the circumcision, that is to the Jews, was the one working effectually in him for his own ministry to the Gentiles. And so he knew who he was sent to and he faced that aspect of his ministry. Now, who have you been sent to? What has God committed into your hands? Be intentional with your business. Be intentional with your marriage. You are a student. Be intentional with your studies. Have a goal. Some factors help us to be intentional. Number one, clarity of a vision. When you understand the vision, you'll be intentional about it. Number two, your passion. Your passion must drive you. Your passion must drive you. Number three, when you see the end picture, when you have the end in view and you can see the end picture, that motivates you to be intentional. This year, be intentional. Let nothing hinder you and the Lord will grant you progress in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed. Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vine Brand Church, Queen School Road, Abata Giari, for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.